Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashan Brown. Co-chair of the Economic Program Oversight Committee, Keith Duncan, gave the assurance today that the government has no intention to draw down funds from the IMF's rapid financing instrument. This amid a projected fiscal deficit for the 2020-2021 fiscal year. Their significant tax revenues do flow in in the last quarter of the years um, and in the especially the last month of the year um, in the March when everyone makes their tax returns and um, GCT returns, etc. So therefore, we are we are hopeful that in the um, January to March period we can hit these targets so that we can maintain um, the fiscal profile and also be able to achieve the revised um, primary surplus target of 3.1%, which was actually revised down. So therefore, the GOJ is committed, and this may involve, if we don't are in, aren't able to hit those revenue targets, it could involve um, in an effort to uh, meet the primary balance targets of 3.1%, a reallocation and reduction of expenditures to achieve said target. However, we... Now, in May, the IMF approved Jamaica's request for emergency financial assistance of about 520 million U.S. dollars to help meet the urgent balance of payments needs stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic. But Mr. Duncan is optimistic the island will meet its revenue targets, nullifying the need to make the IMF drawdown. The Bank of Jamaica BOJ is forecasting a $22 billion or 13% increase in currency in circulation this month compared to November. In a statement yesterday, the central bank said the sum projected at the end of December is $190.9 billion, which would be consistent with heightened spending associated with the Christmas season. The central bank said the December projection represents a 28% increase compared to 11.5% during the same period in 2019. The Bank of Jamaica reported that total currency in the hands of the public and in the vaults of financial institutions as at December 11 amounted to $175 billion. Now the statement says the high stock of currency may reflect the decision by deposit-taking institutions and individuals to hold precautionary cash balances amid the uncertainties caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $144.20. The Canadian dollar sold for $111.18. The pound is going for $193.61, while the euro closed at $177.65. The JC index gained 1,833 points today, and the junior market index slipped by 13 points. Among the winners were Sterling Investments, US dollar shares, 1834 Investments, Fosrich, Mayberry Investments, and SSL Venture Capital. On the losing side were Epley, 8.75%, Sigenos Credit Investments, US dollar shares, Trans Jamaican Highway, US dollar shares, Mailpack, and Lasco Distributors. And that's the business day. I am Vashan Brown. Have a good evening.